My name is uh, Mike Geary. Um, I uh, work here at the Rotunda. Um, I was master here uh, from 2002-2008 and I'm currently clinical director. So I've had the great pleasure of being associated with the Rotunda for more than 20 years, uh, which is really a tiny snippet of time relative to the overall length of time the Rotunda has been in, ex in existence. We are this year proudly celebrating our 275th year. So in 1745, um, in the middle of March, Bartholomew Moss opened uh, the first lying in hospital on the south side, and we moved here 12 years later in 1757. So this year we had uh, great plans to celebrate uh, our 275th anniversary, but with the COVID pandemic, most of those plans have been put on hold. We had great plans to host um, a, an event, a musical event, uh, around um, music associated with the rotunda, um, some of Handel's music, uh, but unfortunately it was put on hold. So the, the story uh, of Handel's connection to the rotunda is interesting. Uh, Bartholomew Moss, our founding master, would have been one of the lucky 500 people sitting in uh, Fish Amble Street in the, uh, the musical um, for the musical occasion. Handel was present himself and they all paid a guinea in and uh, Moss was with his former mentor uh, John Stone who was one of the chief surgeons of the day. Uh, the encores went on long into the night but um, Moss realised that this was a great way of connecting with people who wanted to uh, give charitably uh, to important things like the Widows and Orphans Fund, like hospital uh, and for care for patients. So um, he went on to befriend Handel um, and much of Handel's music was used over the next five to ten years um, as the Rotunda and Moss uh, looked to get monies in to help with patient care. Things like Judas Maccabeus, uh, Alexandra's Feast, um, among others, Moss would have got um, people to orchestras to play those and uh, people would have paid handsomely and that money would have been used directly for patient care. So the Handel story is interesting. Handel um, moved to London and he resided there. He uh, was the chief patron of the Foundling Hospital in London, which is near Kensington Gardens. The hospital is no longer a running hospital, but is now the uh, hospital museum. And you can visit that uh, outside when the COVID pandemic settles down, but well worth a visit. So Handel clearly had an interest in uh, supporting foundling babies, uh, which was very prevalent at the time uh, in the 1700s. In, um, in the UK, um, way back, there was a man called Roger de Gresham, who was a foundling baby. And um, the man who took him in was out riding on his horse one day in the Norfolk marshes. And he heard a, a noise which he thought was a grasshopper. And he followed that noise, thinking this grasshopper was moving. And eventually, it wasn't a grasshopper, it was a baby. It was an abandoned baby, a foundling baby, which he, he took that baby in. And Roger de Gresham uh, became uh, a very successful businessman, but his uh, subsequent descendant, Thomas Gresham, or Thomas de Gresham, was the man who founded the, the Royal Stock Exchange in London, the Financial Exchange. And that made a huge difference in terms of making uh, London now a global centre for finance. And the very nice parallel then is that um, a, f a number of years later, a uh, couple of centuries later, another Thomas Gresham, um, part of the Gresham family, came to Dublin. And if you look up here at the window, you will see the Gresham motif, which is the grasshopper uh, as an overture to um, the, uh, the, f the grasshopper foundling. Um, and that's sitting on top of the coat of arms of the Gresham family. So Thomas de Gresham, the, the young Thomas Gresham, came to Dublin and um, he then uh, he opened the Gresham Hotel um, and uh, he, his connection with the foundling um, theme uh, and babies and handle and the connection to the rotunda, he came to the master of the day and uh, offered uh, the opportunity to put in these beautiful windows, these beautiful stained glass windows. So they were put in here in 1863 and have been here since. Uh, so it's a lovely parallel, a lovely connection. We're very excited uh, to have the Irish Doctors' Choir um, come this year to celebrate our 275th anniversary. We're going to do a number of pieces of Handel's music, uh, but sadly with the pandemic that has to be put on hold. Um, we're really happy to have uh, such talented medical and musical people. Um, we hope that you'll enjoy 
uh, what, what you see and hear. Um, we'd be very grateful if you could uh, support um, um, our cause and uh, there'll be a link at the end of the video. If you could donate, that would be fantastic. So hope you enjoy and thank you for your support. Welcome to our performance of excerpts from Handel's Foundling Hospital Anthem, joining in the 275th anniversary celebrations of the Rotunda. The Irish Doctors' Orchestra and the Irish Doctors' Choir were due to perform live in the Pillar Room in the spring under the direction of Prontius Odin, and we look forward to the return of that live performance as soon as circumstances allow. Meanwhile, the musicians of the Irish Doctors' Choir and Orchestra were not to be kept from the joy that they find in making music. And you join me here in my home studio from where our performance was prepared and produced. Following on from our weekly online rehearsals, you can imagine recordings winging their way from the homes of doctors around the country and further afield. France, Germany, England, Scotland, Wales, Finland all landing on my mixing desk and being coaxed into what you're about to listen to. The challenges are obvious, but we feel that in spite of, or perhaps even because of those challenges, there's a unity of purpose and a love of music that shines through. We hope you enjoy it. Yeah. 